started to get the alpha kits in, and we're giving them to the pre-order people first. But aside from that, I wanted to show you some tricks that me and the guys have been kicking around the office that make the alpha kit a lot, lot better. First off, let's start with a bolt sled. What we have here is a bolt sled, and the bolt sled has a pin that goes itself. What you'll notice it's a little loose. Well, if you put up a little piece of tape like that, it can stick on, it can stick in there, and it's just fine. It doesn't do anything. Another thing is you can just put pieces of tape here and here, and that way the bolt, uh, the, the bolt slip does not go out. The, the big problem was if we made this too tight, you would have to hammer it in. If you make it marginally tight, vibration will shake it out. We just decided to make it loose and make it so it can be taped on. The second thing we wanted to show you, very important part, is the trigger catch and the springs. You may notice it comes with two springs. One is made for a Zeus, the other is made for a long shot. The Zeus spring should be put right in the middle of the Zeus. This is where we fine tuned it and this is where it works the best. On a long shot, however, you're far better off putting it on this side of the shell. So if you get these, uh, do remember that this will not fit a Zeus. It's too high. If you do that, you'll have too many coils and it won't fire. The next trick I'd like to show you is the barrel. The barrel has a crown on it, yes, but it's a relatively flat crown. As people know Mr. Jet, he likes to have his 30 degree chamfer crowns. So what you can do is you can easily just take an X-Acto knife and you can crown it with the back side of the X-Acto knife evenly as such. On the uh, feed end of the crown, I would do a little bit more like a deeper 45 degree that would go into our dart gate, like so. That way when the dart feeds, it doesn't clip, it doesn't clip the, uh, the barrel. This will make it have a much, much more positive feeding action, and it will make it so it has a much, much more consistent accuracy. The next thing I would like to warn you about is the plunger tube. And, if, and a few th things dealing with the O-ring. The plunger tube comes with a plunger head that has a slanted return on it. What this does, it makes it so your oversized ring goes into the back of the ring as it fires, and it makes what's called a speed seal. If you over tighten this and make the ring stationary, it will not move as well and it will have a lot of drag. And a lot of your potential power and energy will be lost. Your other deal is you do not want to cover up this hole. If you cover up this hole and let's say you decide to make the ring frozen by hitting it with a bunch of Teflon tape, when it goes back, You'll just draw in vacuum. You won't draw in any air, and it will cause you all sorts of firing problems. So this hole is put here for a reason. And by the way, this hole is perfectly flush. It is drilled, and then it is bored. It will not wear out your O-rings. We designed it as such. And finally, it has to do with the plunger tube and the spring rest. Now normally you have a Mickey Mouse here. So that's two, that's two bolts that goes on the side of so. Jet blasters, what we did is we made it threaded. But this spring rest will fit any normal plunger tube. You just push it in there. It's just not screwed down by anything. Personally, I like it a lot. It fits in there. I don't have those two ears sticking out. Do put in mind that this dictates the height of the springs. Let's say you, you, gotta, you, want, you want to make the spring just a little higher, a little farther back. You can push this in. Uh, a little farther back as so and move it. You can adjust this to, uh, to this hole to be farther back or forward. So let's say I having this and it's vacuuming because my plunger is ending right here. I can move this up farther up as so. And I can put my plunger ending about right there. So this becomes a really good tool of fine tuning where the relief is for this. So for right now, that's all for today. And this is Mr. Jet saying, don't you go changing.